Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. This morning, nearly 50 people stood just off US-23 in Cole Run holding signs supporting local Aspland workers. Members of the IBEW, or International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, from several states say Aspland workers from this area are not treated fairly. These people in this area in eastern Kentucky are being discriminated against by the lack of pay. They take advantage because we live in eastern Kentucky, that's no reason. When your power is out in the middle of the night and all the lights are out and they go out and find a tree that's laying across the power lines, these are the people that take and clear that so your power comes back on. Aspland employees from as far away as Delaware came to support local workers who do the exact same jobs for half the money. From what they were telling me easily with our total package, our medical benefits, our, our retirement plan and our salaries easily double. It's actually the same exact job other than we don't have as much mountainous terrain as they do here. IBEW representatives also cited two electrocution deaths in the past two years as illustrations of the lack of safety training for local Aspland workers. They get these LCQ books that they basically have to read, but that's not the same as taking the time to actually physically teach somebody how to do it like we do. We have apprenticeship programs in other parts of the country. Protesters this morning also issued a plea to Kentucky Power to enter into a, quote, better contract with Aspland. But Kentucky Power officials say that wouldn't necessarily solve the problem. We competitively bid our price, our right-of-way vegetation management out to uh, companies like Aspen. We'll continue to, to competitively bid our, our, those services out so that we can get the prices as low as possible. Their complaint, I guess with their protest, is, to me is more with their organization than with us, but uh, that's their right to come out and protest and uh, there's nothing we can really do about it. IBEW representatives told EKB News they will be spending the next two days in meetings with Esplend corporate officials and they're optimistic things will improve. Reporting from Coal Run Village, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.